Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Friday, December 21st, 2018, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From ZDNet, a new wave of attacks is targeting Google and Yahoo accounts in order to bypass two-factor authentication and compromise users of secure email services. Several phishing campaigns are underway in the Middle East and North Africa that appear to be conducted by the same threat group and are targeting human rights defenders. See the ZDNet article for full details. From ThreatPost, a vulnerability in some Huawei routers used for carrier ISP services allows cybercriminals to identify whether the devices have default credentials or not without ever connecting to them. Huawei has issued a fix and is working with its carrier customers to implement across networks. Maybe we should ask the CFO. Is she still in Canada? From Naked Security, Microsoft has released an emergency patch for a remote code execution zero-day vulnerability in Internet Explorer's JScript engine, affecting all versions of Windows, including Windows 10. If you're thinking, wait, I'm using the Edge browser, which uses the Chakra script engine, what do I care about IE? Well, for backwards compatibility reasons, you're still screwed. Microsoft suggests admins might consider limiting access to jscript.dll if they don't plan to implement the patch soon. From Reuters.com, hackers working on behalf of China's Ministry of State Security breached the networks of HP Enterprise and IBM, then used the access to hack into their clients' computers, according to five sources familiar with the attacks. The attacks were part of a Chinese campaign known as CloudHopper, which the United States and Britain said infected technology service providers in order to steal secrets from their clients. While cybersecurity firms and government agencies have issued multiple warnings about the cloud hopper threat since 2017, they had not disclosed the identity of the technology companies whose networks were compromised. IBM said it had no evidence that sensitive corporate data had been compromised, and HBE had no comment. And last today from ZDNet, Law enforcement in the U.S., the U.K., and the Netherlands have seized the domains of 15 DDoS for hire services. The domain seizures come days before the Christmas holiday, a period of the year when hacker groups have historically targeted gaming providers with DDoS attacks. The purpose of those attacks, as expressed by the hacker groups, was to ruin people's Christmas, or to make gamers spend more time with their families. Well, we'll be having none of that. And that's all I have for you this week. Time for me to go out and do a little shopping. Have a fantastic weekend. And until Monday, be safe out there.